Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So as we all know India has banned 59 Chinese applications a few weeks ago from which there were two important applications share it and cam scanner. Now as we all know cam scanner was very popular and a powerful document scanning application uh, which was used by most of the people as well as students to scan assignments reports and other kinds of stuff. Now it has been banned in the country so in this video I am going to show you five different alternatives of cam scanner that is document scanners and tell you their names how to use them and the pros and cons of the applications so without any further ado let's get started with the video my name is Samian Savan welcome to the channel all right so let's start with the video now I have taken the applications there are five different alternatives right now all these five alternatives have segregated based on their functions and given them ranks so I'll show you the applications based on their ranks from fifth to first from the moderate application to the best application so let's start with it now the fifth application the fifth rank application will be Microsoft Office Lens now it's been created by Microsoft Corporation and it's been there for a while on Play Store and I'll show you how to use this applications, the pros and cons and why it has the fifth rank. So let's switch to the mobile device. Alright, so as you can see, this is an application. Let's click on it. Microsoft Office Lens. Now, basically, when you use to open cam scanner, it opens the dashboard and shows you all the files. Here, it opens the camera. Okay now as soon as you open the application see this orange line it keeps blinking it's kind of annoying but yeah it's okay it's one of the cons i think of this application i don't like it so let's proceed now you have all these sections here business card photo whiteboard document let's go with document you can also import all the images which you have already and scan them another thing you can adjust the flashlight you can adjust the resolution you can see all the scan documents shutter sound and settings okay so let's just scan this document I'll just focus on this and I'll just hit scan okay now once you scan it will like force you to crop it as soon as you scan it so this feature I don't like it I just prefer batch mode if I have various pages if you have a single page then this is a very great thing okay but if you have several pages batch mode is very reliable so yeah let's just turn on confirm okay I've cropped this thing now you can go to filters take the black and white filter for the perfect scan copy go back you can crop it you can rotate it you can adjust the color filter you can add text and you can draw anything on it okay so these were the features of Microsoft Office let's hit done once you hit done now basically most of the document scanning applications they just create a project and save your files there but in Microsoft Office if you don't have access to internet it will force you to save it in your gallery which will take up space so that's another con of this application now if you have access to internet you can save it on OneDrive with all these options you can sign in from here okay now this blurred section is my email ID you can add whichever you email ID you want okay let's just go back alright so that was another con you can't uh, like create a project you have to save it in your gallery so I'll just hit on save and see you can see all these files now if accidentally you delete these image from gallery then you won't be able to access it from here it will get deleted from your mobile permanently so that's one of the cons so yeah that was Microsoft application now the fourth rank will go to the application named Doc Scanner. Now this application has almost a million downloads on Play Store. It has got great reviews. So let's switch to the mobile device. I'll show you how to use it, pros and cons, and why it has the fourth rank. All right. So as you can see, this is the Doc Scanner. Let's click on it. Now once it opens, the dashboard will show you all the files which you have previously scanned, like Cam Scanner. Okay. Now I don't have any files scanned, but I'll show you how to scan them first of all if you want to scan a new document just click on this camera logo okay if you want to bring in any other file or image you can just click on this you can bring it from gallery and these are all the options setting and all that stuff so let's just scan the document yeah this is one of the con of this application is that 
it redirects you to the camera of your mobile phone the default application it doesn't have an inbuilt camera so this takes time right so i'll just click just once okay i'll just flip the camera okay this is the document i'll click i'll focus it and click it once this is done hit okay it will redirect you to the application okay you can crop it however you want just hit the tick mark now it will process for some time here all you all these features are there okay filters you can rotate it from here just hit tick mark after that all right so this is our dashboard see this document we scanned it just now now one of the pros here is that it doesn't force you to save the document to the gallery right away it will create a project here okay now if you want to you can do that by clicking on this you can save it to gallery save it as pdf share it rename it delete it okay all these features are great this is a quite simple application with simple features but not too advanced features another con is that it doesn't have batch mode which we want okay so these were the pros and cons of this application let's get back to the video all right so that was the fourth rank now let's go to the third rank application now the third rank many of people use this application already it's called as the adobe scanner now it's been very famous application it also has almost a million downloads and various people use it and many people will argue why it is not on the second or the first rank so let me show you why all right now the third application is adobe scan let's click on it okay once you open adobe scan it will open your camera not the files but the ui is pretty great as you can see see all these things form document business card whiteboard let's go to document now here it has one feature which is auto capture you just hold the camera above the document it will auto capture just hold the phone steady okay flash done okay it has captured the document once you do it you can crop it and continue but here also we don't have the batch feature it will force you to crop the document as soon as you take the photo okay now once you're done with this you can also import various files you can adjust the flash and see this button if you click on this you'll go to whatever files you have for now if you want to continue scanning and make it a single document you can continue or else we'll just go back okay let's go back i'll just click on this okay here all these features are given resize delete clean up and all that stuff you can play with that later and just hit on save pdf okay give it time it will save it okay it will upload it to the cloud it will recognize the particular text and all that stuff now one benefit in this application is you can sign in in this application okay so the blurred part is my email id you can sign in with any email id you id you want all your progress will be saved in your email id once you sign out and sign in again all your documents will be available okay you can add comments here you can share this as pdf and whatever stuff you can click on more and you can do all this stuff you can modify it copy to any copy to our device rename it print it delete it all that stuff so it's a pretty great application it has a simple but great ui and all the features are great so let's get back to our video so that was adobe scanner now let's go to the second rank application now the second rank will go to another application also named as doc scanner but the speciality of this application is that it is made in india and it has various great features and it also has almost a million downloads on play store so let's see what's so special about this application all right so as you can see this is the doc scanner let's click on it now once this application opens the dashboard will show you all the files which you have previously scanned now i don't have any file scanned so it will show you empty okay now once i go to this navigation bar you can see there is one very important feature which is the trash now if you delete any file accidentally then it will go to the trash so you can restore it from there okay let's scan a document for first see this camera you can scan anything from here and see this you can bring in any file from gallery let's go to the camera okay so it has all these four options here you can adjust the flashlight if you want you can take it or you can just switch it off close you can bring in the grid lines you can flip the camera and you can adjust the resolution and all that things from here okay 
let's click the image for now okay let it take its time let it process and as you can see it forces you to crop it here also we don't have the batch feature so let's continue with this okay now you can continue taking images if you want to create a like whole file or a, um, scan a whole book but we still don't have the batch feature so it takes time okay now we are done with this let's just click on the tick mark now it has all these features you can adjust you can crop rotate erase picture you can write a signature and all that stuff so that's great stuff okay let's click on the tick mark here let it save the document okay now we are done with saving the document see it appears on the dashboard let's click on it now one more benefit here is that it won't like force you to save the document in the gallery right away it will create a project here also and it will save the document here you can also save it to gallery from here okay it has all these great features you can compress it multi slide um, what multi side doc or collage yeah you can create a collage you can rename it you can save it to gallery move copy and all that stuff now if we delete it see this option here you can either move it to trash or you can permanently delete it now for now i'll show you move it to trash i'll delete it okay now it's gone from here okay i'll go here i'll go to trash and you, as you can see this one i'll just restore it let's go back and as you can see it has been restored so that's how you can use this application it's a pretty great application great ui simple and has a few advanced features but one main feature which we want is not here which is the batch feature okay so let's go back to the video all right so those were the four different alternatives of doc scanner now let's go to the final and the first rank application now the first rank application as we discuss has the one main important feature which is called as batch mode now batch mode is very useful as you know while well, like scanning various pages of a single document all right so this application has the batch mode and let's see how it is and how great it works all right so this is our final application note block if you don't know this is a made in spain application okay so let's just click on the application now once it opens it will show you the dashboard this application's ui is very similar to that of cam scanner okay so here it will show you all those things which you have already scanned when you go to navigation bar it will show you all these things another benefit see trash is also present here okay now here you can also save all the documents to the cloud you can sync your google drive here okay let's go back and let's scan some things okay this is the camera here you can import from your gallery let's sit on camera now as you can see here this is known as the batch mode now here we are on the single mode once i click on this we'll go to batch mode now the benefit of batch mode is that it will save you so much time so that you can just scan all the pages at first then crop all the pages and then just export the thing okay it won't force you after every other picture to crop the picture okay here you can also adjust the flashlight you can adjust the resolution okay so that's it let's try the batch mode and click this then i'll go here i'll click this then let's go to next page here again i'll click it then I'll click this then so four pages are enough for now let's click on this tick mark now we'll have to select the filter i'll just keep it not block color which will be black and white and you can click on border adjustment and just hit okay now let it take its time okay now you can just crop all these images at once click tick mark next page crop it tick mark crop it tick mark crop it done with all the four pages let it process let it take its time done you have to bear with the ads okay so all these four pages are ready let's go and click on some page see the clarity is damn good now you can 
rename every single page in this application okay every single page of the document let's keep it page one it okay done page one you can crop it from here you can change the particular filter you can go from black and white to color okay i'll show you i'll just select crop tick mark okay i can change it i can go from black and white to color okay whatever we want okay i'll just back okay you can add note to every single page okay i'll just click done you can like use ocr which is character recognition it doesn't give that great of a result but yeah they have given the feature maybe they'll improve it in the coming updates okay you can share a particular page or the whole document i'll show that to you let's go back okay so this is the whole document as you can see page one okay now as you can see the whole document is present i'll hit on share now it gives you various options here like you can share the file based on its size and clarity and format okay so here it will ask you if you want to share the actual size medium size small size or smallest size okay you can also rename the document from here okay pages i'll just randomly name it something okay here you can select the format of the file like you want to share all the pages as pdf file or separately as images or text file okay three options and all these other applications they have given where you can share the particular file okay so that is how you can use this application according to me this is the best application out there you can use it it is very very similar to cam scanner and it also has great features and the most important feature is batch mode so that's it for this application let's go back to the video so those were the five different alternatives of document scanners or cam scanners from my side now if you know any other application which is better or similar to these applications do tell it in the comment box below so that everyone will be able to use it and that's it for the video if you find any value in this video do like the video share it with your friends as much as possible so that everyone will be able to use these applications and consider subscribing to the channel i post similar tech content every week and android studio tutorial videos every week so that's it for the video thank you for watching the video Bye-bye.